Hi there, everyone. My name's Andrew McKenzie. I work in our modern workplace and security practice at Professional Advantage. I've been helping a lot of customers uh, for over 20 years now, um, understanding Microsoft productivity suites and how they can help their business. And there's a question that uh, is popping up over and over at the moment, which I thought I would just share with you and help hopefully clarify. And that is the difference between Office 365 and Microsoft 365. So let me just talk to you, first of all, a little bit of background um, because they are different things, but they have changed as well. So um, all small business and enterprise productivity suites from Microsoft used to be known collectively as Office 365. Uh, in 2017, uh, Microsoft announced a new license um, and they called it Microsoft 365. And that added additional things to your Office 365 suites. Uh, it gave you desktop upgrade rights to your Windows 10. Uh, so for example, to upgrade to Windows 10 on your desktop, that was included. Um, and it gave you uh, access to a whole bunch of security features. And, and that was pretty neat because it offered a real low price point um, to, I guess, get modern and get secure, which we all know is important uh, in today's um, climate. But Microsoft have now brought this Microsoft 365 brand to the front, and that's really now their primary offering. So the new norm really here is that um, Microsoft is pushing the focus of Microsoft 365, and there's only a handful of SKUs left that are branded Office 365. And these are your Office 365 F1, your E1, your Office 365 E3, very common one purchased, and Office 365 E5. So how have things changed? Well, their small and medium business licensing has shifted names and branding there. So what used to be called uh, their Office 365 business offerings for small, medium business um, has shifted now to be your Microsoft 365 basic your Microsoft 365 uh, Business Standard and your Microsoft 365 Business Premium. So uh, very important to be aware of that difference between the word Office 365 and Microsoft 365. Um, but it's not as easy as you would think because not all those new Microsoft 365 SKUs include that Windows desktop uh, upgrade rights or the advanced security features. So a couple of things to be aware of here. Um, your Microsoft 365 Basic and your Microsoft 365 Standard SKUs uh, do not include those uh, upgrade rights to your desktop or that advanced security. Of course, neither does your Office 365 SKUs that I mentioned before, um, with a special note that the E5 Hero SKU uh, does have some uh, security benefits to that one, but uh, the majority of them don't. Um, the, the SKUs that do include the advanced security and Windows upgrade uh, capabilities are your Microsoft 365 Business Premium, which is available for small and medium business up to about 300 users, and your Microsoft uh, 365 F1, E3, and E5 SKUs. So what are these security inclusions that, uh, that I'm going on about? Well, there's a range of them. Some of the most prominent ones that you wanna be aware of are things like your Azure Active Directory Premium, uh, your Azure Information Protection. If you don't know what that is, that really allows us to effectively label and control content uh, once it leaves your network um, and, and ensures that only the person designated has the ability to access that content. Um, even if it's stored on a USB or uh, saved somehow to another device, uh, anyone other than the intended user will not be able to open that file. Conditional access, which can help us control, um, let's say someone comes in from their personal device or a mobile device, they're outside of your network, uh, you can control what they have access to at that point. Maybe it's a constrained set of resources uh, compared to the usual ones where they would come in from a company-owned device or on your network. Self-service password reset, that's just a terrific one uh, for reducing uh, help desk needs. Intune uh, management of mobile and, uh, and remote devices. BitLocker for securing uh, company-owned devices. Windows Hello for secure authentication and, and more. So. Uh, lots of really cool things that are bundled in and really makes it worth your while uh, that we need in this modern security uh, environment that we're in right now. 
So one last thing that I want to touch on uh, for you is an add-on in your Microsoft 365 space for risk governance and compliance. So um, it can be quite a hefty price to get up to the Microsoft 365 full E5 SKU. Uh, it is a terrific bundle and offering, but uh, there are commercial realities. Um, well, these add-on SKUs allow you to step up between the Microsoft 365 E3, which I think is around the $46 uh, dollars per month for Australian users. Uh, and we have these different add-ons for information protection and governance, insider risk management, and e-discovery and audit. So three different add-on SKUs that range from uh, roughly nine to 12 Australian dollars per user that gives you this differentiation in capabilities around risk, governance, and compliance. So really cool add-ons. Anyway, uh, I hope that's helped you. Uh, if you have any more questions, please comment on this video or leave your questions at the address below here. Um, additionally, uh, thanks for listening today. We look forward to answering other FAQs uh, that come along in the coming weeks from myself or other team members at Professional Advantage.